Brought to us by Jimmy Kimmel, Norman Lear, two star-studded cast, TJ. Sing it with me, George. Fish don't fry in the kitchen. All right. <laughs> <laughs> they warned me not to do that with you, George. Uh, look, last night had never been done before, and they did it with an all-star, even Oscar-caliber cast that delivered last night, but also it was a social experiment to see how the comedy, but also the themes and difficult issues of 40, 50 years ago would hold up today. Void away, Glenville of play. Songs that made the hit parade. The night started the same way it did 46 years ago, but this time... Goyles were goyles and men were men. New voices were hitting those famous notes. Those were the The live reenactment of All in the Family and the Jeffersons brought classic, thought-provoking television to a new audience, with Woody Harrelson starring as the bigoted, blue-collar patriarch, Archie Bunker. Black people have arrived. They're here. I ain't letting them in. And Jamie Foxx slipping into the shoes of George Jefferson with some trademark swagger. So all we could afford, all we could, all is live. And if you needed proof that the show was live. Everyone sitting at home just think their TV just messed up. After a mistake he made had the audience and the cast cracking up. <laughs> Behind the scenes, the cast was jubilant, happy to be part of something so unique. No, I am not Frodo from Lord of the Rings. I'm Frank Lorenzo from All in the Family. All in the Family and the Jeffersons. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Well, I'm moving on up to the east side. To that dear lots of pockets in the sky. The reenactment offered a few surprises, including Jennifer Hudson belting out a special rendition of that other famous theme song. The broadcast quickly became one of the top trends on Twitter, getting the whole country talking and some noting how relevant the themes of the programs still are today, while others at home longed for the original cast. We are the Jeffersons. Miss Jefferson. <laughs> the agency sent me. And this unexpected showstopper, original series star Marla Gibbs returning as Florence after nearly four decades. You live in this apartment, right? Uh-huh. And you got one in this building, too? Yes, that's right. Well, how come we overcame and nobody told me? Her appearance even wild castmate Ike Barinholtz, who played Meathead. May I have a career long enough where I'm able to enter a scene and have the wall shake. She's a legend. Kerry Washington and Will Ferrell as TV's famous interracial couple, Helen and Tom Willis. Don't say it. He said it. The episodes stayed true to the originals, except for two lines. He'd be calling you Don't a... say it. They censored the N-word. Yeah, but even in our worst fights, you never called me... It hasn't crossed my mind. Tom! Something that wasn't done back in the 70s, but actress Kerry Washington proud by the decision to even include the word at all. We struggled a lot with how we were going to deal with that. We're saying it, but we're bleeping it, and I feel like that's a really beautiful kind of middle ground to honor the truth and, um, and not shy away from it, but also do it responsibly. Both iconic shows of the 70s addressing difficult issues that remain today, all while still making us laugh. Racism, sexism, chauvin, all these things that are still relevant today. You put that 40, 50 years ago, still relevant today. It, that, that should be a wake-up call in some ways, or we should be paying yeah, attention to that. But it's still scripts funny. with the exception of two words. Two words yeah. that wow. still are relevant today. So it was a cool experiment and entertaining as well. Yeah, it made you think and made you it, laugh it, at it the same great. time. Great all right. It's a good night. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos,